Lay out all the component parts from the Taichi Max on the bench. Check that everything's in place. You should have an accessories pack, power leads and cables, the titrator base, the titrator head, the control unit, and the burette unit. First thing to do, connect the power cable to the back of the control unit. Next we can connect the titrator D connector to the base of the control unit and also the other end of that lead will go into the titrator base. We can now connect the burette unit Unscrew the retaining screw in the stand, take out the burette. At the bottom of the burette, the plunger has a groove which needs to be aligned to the groove inside the burette unit. You can see there. It's very important that this is aligned. The whole burette unit is pushed down firmly and slotted in. You now take the retaining screw and screw that in. When that's in place, the control unit will recognise that the burette has been fitted. Next, we can take the stirrer motor and screw that into the top of the titrator head. This plugs in to the base of the titration unit. The PTFE burette tip can be put in place. And also the tubing which goes from the burette into the titrant bottle can be fitted. Push the tube in right to the base of the bottle and screw in. Ensure the desiccant is attached. Next we can fit the stirrer bar simply by pushing up into the stirrer motor. The electrode there, we do not need to connect just yet. Get a titration vessel in place. We're just going to adjust the titration head there to rest on top of the titration vessel. It should fit quite snugly. It should be tightened so that you can just swing the titration vessel in and out without having to raise the connectors. Right, we're going to turn on the unit now. This is the main menu. And we need to select function, which is number two, and prime, because we're going to prime the unit Priming the unit ensures that the titrant fills all the tube and the burette, leaving no air bubbles. To start with, we'll select 10,000 microliters, which is 10 mils, which is the size of the full burette. You can see the burette is now filling from the titration bottle. and it will prime all the tubes by pushing that 10 mils into the titration vessel. Now 
Now whilst that's doing that, check all the tubes going in and out of the switching valve to make sure there are no leaks and also check the top of the burette. If you're happy that there are no leaks, the unit can be primed further just to make sure there are no air bubbles. Select 2 again, function, and then select 3, prime. This time we'll select 20,000 microliters to give two 10 mil flushes of the system. That should be enough to make sure there are no air bubbles. Whilst it's doing that, we can get the electrode out and connect it to the back of the control unit. Take off the little black cap. This allows flow of filling solution through the electrode. And we can put that in place on the titration stand. Titration Max is now prime.